Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and today for the first time ever in Catalan Studio video series we are going to talk about an official unreleased feature of Catalan Studio which is Catalan Studio running on Docker containers. So as of now with the official documentation on Catalan Studio you cannot find this information but the Catalan Studio team has given me a heads up to try out how the Catalan Studio works with the Docker container and it is really really cool to see that it is running on a Docker container which is a very very good news for all of us in the testing community. So let's quickly see everything in action. Let's get started. Catalan Studio on Docker. Catalan Studio as we know is the best known for helping testers to run test on platforms like Mac operating system, Windows operating system and Linux operating system. And now Catalan is also going to support one more platform sooner officially which is Catalan on Docker container. That's a great news. So the most important software prerequisite as you would expect is you need to have a Docker for Windows or Mac operating systems installed. And again Docker if you're new to Docker, well, Docker in a nutshell, it's a software containerization platform and it provides an abstraction of operating system level virtualization. But in a high level, these containers contains the real operating system software that you build, dependencies that you run for the software and environment variables to run that software. As you can see in the right hand side of the slide, we have an image containing a whale symbol again that's the docker logo and you can see on the top it has some containers and it says that it actually has a kernel which is the whale by itself all these containers that is sitting on the top of these whales are the containers as represented in the images there and these containers contains the tomcat software or Java and Debian and all sitting in one container and there is another container which has an Ubuntu operating system that's a different operating system altogether not like Debian and it has a MySQL and PHP and there is one more container which is running Alpine operating system of Linux and that's running the static binary and if you are going to run in a Windows container of course Windows container is also supported by Docker well, there are a lot of informations on Docker's available in Xero Automation channel. You can go ahead and watch that in YouTube as, as well as in Xero Automation website. So to learn more about Docker, once again, as I said, just head to the following free course in Xero Automation channel and Xero Automation website. You can find the understanding the ABC of Docker and understanding Docker for Windows operating system. You can get all this information for free. Well, why Catalan is moving to Docker altogether? Well, Docker containers, as we know, are easy to maintain and you don't necessarily have to install all the versions of Catalan every time the team releases it. Just get the latest version of Catalan from Docker Hub using very simple command as shown below and boom, you get the latest version of Catalan in your Docker container. And of course, the team has to update the Docker Hub as well as a part of release cycle. And if that's going to happen, you will have a latest version of Catalan Studio running on a Docker container. That's really cool. So as you can see, I just use a simple command like Docker pull of Catalan Studio slash Catalan. And uh, it automatically takes the latest tag of it and it just downloads the latest up to date version of Catalan for you in the Docker container. That is really cool. So that's the image which is hosted in the Docker Hub. And the advantages of Docker apart from getting the latest version is you can run the test much easier right now. Just very simple shell script command and you can run the same container in an Azure or an Amazon Web Services or a Google Cloud if you have an account on it. And then you can spin up multiple containers and run the same test in multiple different browsers same time. That's another great advantage of running test on Docker's using Catalan Studio. And where to get the Docker image then? Of course, as of now, as I said, it is not official. For now, you can get from this link, hub.docker.com slash r slash Catalan Studio slash Catalan. And you can pull the container into your local Docker instance. And this image contains Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, XPFB, and 
Catalan Studio itself. So these are the pre-installed software coming out of the box within that particular image. So you don't necessarily have to install any different plugins or softwares like Google Chrome, Firefox. It's all there for you, which is required for running Catalan Studio on console mode. So it just works fine without any problem. So how does that code runs? Again, it's a very simple shell scripting command and it's pretty much the same as Catalan command line execution, but and just that we'll be executing it in a Docker container image rather in our local machine. That's the only change. So as you can see, this is the script which I took from the sample repo Catalan team has got. I just modified a little bit here and there with a project name. That's it. And it just works fine without any problem. Right? So I'll be talking about that in a minute. Just hold tight for that. But this is the very simple way to execute the code on Docker container. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Mac operating system. All right. So this is my Mac. And as you can see, I have already installed uh, Docker and it's running in my machine. And you can easily see that how it's running there using a very, very simple command. So I use this item uh, bash command. So you can just put Docker uh, images and you can see the image which I have got just Catalan Studio slash Catalan. Again, these are some of the simple commands that you need to know while working with Dockers. So please go ahead and watch those videos in Excel Automation channel. You can get that. And you can see that this image has been created just five days ago while recording this video, uh, even though it is not officially available. Of course, the team is currently working hard to get this out for release just now. So you can see that we have an image. That's really cool. And now that I'm going to work with the Catalan Studio, so what I'm going to do basically is I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but I have already downloaded the Catalan 5.3.1, which is released just three days before. So I'm going to open that Catalan Studio and we're going to create a very, very simple recording. And then we're going to run that in our Mac operating system. And then we're going to run the same code in Docker container. That's our goal. So let's quickly see how to do that. So I'm going to first create a new project. So let's call this as new project. And uh, we'll go all the way to Catalan Studio. Uh, and I'm going to open that and create, give a name for this. Let's call this as uh, Catalan Docker. And then hit OK. And we're going to create a new test case, a new test case. And let's call this as execute automation uh, TC. As usual, I'm going to do a very, very basic stuff, which is record and playback. As you know, that's very simple for me. Uh, and that's the power of Catalan Studio itself. And as you can see, if I search in uh, Google Catalan Docker, you will never get any information from Catalan Studio itself. But you can see there is an hub.docker.com. If you go to this particular website, and you can see they have an uh, deprecated uh, because this is deprecated. So you actually have to go to this particular link, uh, which is Catalan Studio slash Catalan. Uh, and this is the image which I just pulled using this command, right? You can do that as well. So if I just copy that, and if I just go over here, and if I just paste it and hit enter, you can see that it is searching for the latest tag. And it seems like what I have, the image, is the latest one. And you can see that it is five days ago it's created. This is also five days ago it pushed into the uh, Docker Hub, which is cool. All right. So as that said, I'm going to uh, log into my Exit Automation demo site. Uh, so that's going to be demo site slash login.html file. I'm going to copy that. And let's come to the recording, record web. And this is the URL automatically pasted. And then I'm going to record that in the Firefox Chrome browser, maybe. And then I'm going to hit OK. Uh, this is the object repository, new folder. Let's give this as EA uh, object repository. Hit OK. OK. All right. So in the username, I'm going to give admin, admin, login here. Mr. KK Karthik uh, Hindi safe 
and HTML pop-up. I'm going to close it. And I'm just going to navigate to the user form, drag and drop page. And then I'm just going to drag a thing here. That's it. That's the small operation that I'm going to do. I hit OK to just save that in here to the object repository. Cool. So now we have everything in here uh, in the object repository. I'm not going to tell anything about how this code is working and how the scripting uh, view is going to be looking like because those things are something which we have already discussed in our previous videos of this course. But as of now, I'm just going to run this and see how it works. So basically for running this, as you know, in our previous video, we're talking about the we were talking about the Firefox headless. We can use that, but since uh, in this Mac I don't really have Firefox, I'm just going to use uh, Chrome for now. So let's see what's going to happen. So you can see that the Chrome browser is, has opened and it's navigating there. It's performing all the operation. There we go. It's all done. Test got passed. Everything is happy. Right? So that's the very, very simple test. And then I'm going to create a very simple test suite so that I can use this for execution in the Docker container. So uh, let's call, call this as first test. Hit OK. And within this, I'm going to add this particular test case that we just created. Hit OK there. And we have everything good. I'm going to save all. And I'm going to close this guy. So basically, it is sitting in user, Karthi KK, Catalan Studio, and Catalan Docker. So I'm going to close this here. Uh, let's continue. Let's confirm. As you can know that our code is actually working in our local machine. So everything is cool. And now I'm going to go all the way to the LS. Uh, Catalan Studio. Catalan Docker. And then hit LS. So this is our project right now. So I'm going to open go here to the Catalan Docker and then here into this particular project I am going to create a shell script command which is basically going to execute the script within our Docker container. So if you ask me where did I get this particular script basically if you can see here they have a sample project within their uh, GitHub in Catalan Studios team has created it just four days ago uh, you can actually get that from here Basically, there are two shell script commands, and these are pretty straightforward commands. So, for instance, if I want to execute the test in the Firefox, uh, you can see they have a command here. Uh, so, this is basically the command which is responsible for running the test on Catalan Studio in the Docker container. So, I'm going to copy this command, and I will explain you how it actually looks like. So, basically, it is a shell scripting, so it has an extension of .sh. Uh, I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to create a uh, new file over here. And these are the two files that I just created. And let's quickly open this and see how it looks like. So I'm going to open this in the autumn. And let's see how it looks like. So as you can see here, uh, it, has a, uh, it has a folder creation. So if it is already exist, it's going to delete the existing folder. If it is not, then it's going to create a folder into the folder uh, directory, the current path that we have. And there is a Catalan options. And as you can see here, the options has a browser type of Firefox, uh, retry of zero, and status delay of 15. So wait for 15 seconds uh, to start. And there is a test suite path where we have to give the test suite. If you remember in our Catalan studio while we were working, we actually created uh, a test suite uh, which was first test. So I'm just going to use that first test. I'm going to save it here. And uh, the project name is actually Catalan Docker. So I'm going to give that here. Right? So what it says basically is we are going to run this particular test suite, which is running in this particular, uh, which is available in this particular folder path that you can see here. Uh, there is a test suite and there is a first test.ts file, this one that we have given. And then we are telling the Docker command that Docker run in the hyphen hyphen rm, which is like a cleanup script. 
uh, once you are done with this particular image it is going also going to do a cleanup like closing that particular uh, docker uh, running process from your machine so just giving that hyphen hyphen rm and then you're going to hyper v and you're going to say that this is my current uh, directory where you have to look for the catalan docker where i have my script and then you have to put that you're just mapping it to the catalan's container uh, location here to the source and then you're going to also map the reports which is generated in the catalan con container into your local folder which is the reports underscore firefox folder and then you are saying that just run this particular uh, just use the catalan options this is a dollar catalan opt that you just give on the top like firefox browser delay and test suite path all those stuff for this particular image the catalan studio slash catalan if you remember i just showed you uh, the docker image that I got the catalan studio slash catalan uh, that's the image name here so this is the full single line command that we have to give uh, along with the catalan options to execute our code seems to be confusing in an initial phase but once you are getting used to that it's pretty simple uh, I guess in future catalan team is also going to generate some kind of uh, very easy way of working with the catalan options instead of having so many options here which is kind of confusing but yeah this is uh, just a pre-release version and uh, it's still in i guess it's going to be in beta uh, where it's going to be released or something like that but yes it's going to be customized soon but as of now yeah this is the command so uh, we're going to just execute this test for the first time ever on the internet and i'm going to see how it's going to be looking like so let's quickly see this in action so I'm just going to go all the way to the Catalan Docker. Uh, maybe I'm just going to go out uh, from this directory. Uh, I'm just going to see. Okay, we have the uh, Catalan Docker. And then I'm going to run in the Firefox.sh file, which is the one which I just modified. And then I'm going to hit enter. Oops. So I'm just getting this error uh i don't know what is the reason but uh let me do this uh what i think is like i think the directory structure is currently not supported by the catalan studio because as you can see this particular folder uh that i have the project the catalan docker is actually sitting under the catalan studio uh, directory and there is a space in within here and because of that it is not actually supporting i guess and it is telling some uh, reason which is completely not relevant to what the error is actually so what I'm going to do is this uh, I'm just going to go all the way here to the Catalan docker I'm just going to copy this guy and I'm going to go all the way to uh, one of my another folder which has no space in it see it's k docker so what I'm going to do is this so I'm just going to paste this particular folder over here uh, in the Catalan docker as you can see uh, under k docker there is a catalan docker folder this is our project right so i'm just going to paste it over here so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run the command that we have executed earlier in that particular folder directory so now we are in here the k docker folder and i'm just going to execute the code and see how it's going to work so just this it's going to be catalan docker and then I'm going to run in the firefox.sh. Let's try to execute and see if it really works. There we go. So once I executed, you can see that it created a reports folder there. And right now you can see that the test is actually running for the first time on a Docker container. And you can see that our Catalan is running the whole test in a command line. And I can see there is something happening here. And it has generated a report it is copying the reports to the folder that we just mapped here if you remember we mapped the actual catalan containers report into our current folder the reports so this is the reports folder and then it should have a firefox folder within it so if i open you can see there is a firefox folder and if you open here you can see there is an html report so if i open this you can see it generated an html file report and you can see that it has uh, a first test uh, log this is the sweet name that we have and it shows all the commands that it has executed to perform the operation
which is really really cool so we can see that everything is actually happening right now without any problem with the Catalan Studio on Docker container. And you can see that the host name is actually this one automatically generated based on the container name, uh, which I guess you can see with the Docker PS, maybe PS hyphen A. So you can see that it actually has uh, some sort of uh, container names. Uh, I thought it was going to be mapped based on the container name, which I'm expecting it to be E59 which of course it is not there. I thought it was going to be the name of that. But anyways, that's not the name. Uh, but it has the OS name, which is Linux 64-bit. So it's basically running on the Linux 64-bit operating system. And the Catalan version is 5.3.0.1, the latest version. And it's running on the Firefox 58. And another good news is this report itself is really, really cool. We can also change some command to push that into the Catalan analytics. But again, I don't really have the information yet, but probably once I have the information, I'll tell you how you can push the same code into Catalan Analytics when the test has executed instead of generating the report uh, in a local file directory that you have right now. And you can see it's really cool to see the test is running in the Firefox browser. And why not just execute the same test in the Chrome browser? So I'm just going to go all the way here. And instead of Firefox.sh, if I just change it to Chrome.sh and if I execute this, it is going to execute the same test on the Chrome browser. See, that's really cool. And I'm just doing the same thing again and again with different browsers and different containers running here. And it is going to generate the reports, I guess, in the Chrome browser. There you go. So there is a Chrome folder here. It's copying the report uh, over there. It has copied. Let's see the report. And you can see this is the Chrome browser in the same operating system and the test got passed. Cool. So if I want to make the test to fail for some reason, we can also do that. And it also takes a screenshot if I'm not wrong. So if I go here to the Catalan Studio and if I try to open this particular project from there, so I'm intentionally going to make my test to fail uh, this time. And let's say I'm going to change this input underscore save to something else maybe. And I'm trying to click that. So uh, let's go to the object repository uh, over here. Input save. And I'm going to identify just with the save. So I'm just going to change the name to nothing like that. So it's a completely irrelevant object name. And then I'm going to save this. So basically the object name is completely wrong. So now if I try to execute this test, it should fail. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. So I'm going to run the Chrome browser. So once it is going to perform the save operation, it should not find the particular object and the test should fail. And I'm also expecting the test to take me a and you can see that it is trying to identify the input underscore save. Uh, save nothing like that just now that we changed. And I guess it has taken the screenshot by this time. And it is generating a report for us. So it's taking some time to copy the image from there, I guess. Something is happening. A little delayed this time. So we're not just go back to the report and see what's really happening there. So this is the report. Uh, since we executed the Chrome command, I'm going to go over here. Do you see there is some uh, screenshot here this time? Let's quickly see the report and see how it looks like. It seems like the test has got failed. Uh, and let's go all the way here. You can see there is some failure. And there is a screenshot as well. So this screenshot is basically coming from the container image of Docker. Really cool, right? So, which proves the point that Catalan Studio is running on a Docker container for the first time and we can run the test currently on Chrome and Firefox browser using a very, very simple command, shell script command, to perform the operation of execution. As of now, until this video, we have spoken about creating a report to our local directory, but sooner we will have a solution 
to upload the report into Catalan Analytics website so that you can have a historical report. Right? So that's it guys. This is what is Catalan on Docker container and hope you got a complete new taste of the upcoming new release of Catalan on Docker. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.